And I'm very pleased to be joined with uh, by County Executive Mark Elrich, and we're, this is a joint proclamation. And I have a few words to say, but I'll turn it over to the County Executive first, please. Thank you for letting me join you um, this morning on this proclamation about child abuse. Um, child abuse is, uh, is a severe, persistent problem in society, and it's something that doesn't stop with the child. The results um, you know, for the child can often last a lifetime. It impairs relationships. It, it, it has effects on their own child rearing. Um, it is uh, something that happens to children that can just persist in a way in their lives and in the lives of people around them that is, you know, most unfortunate and, and very distressing to people. So um, we urge that anybody who's concerned that a child being abused uh, should contact the screening unit in Montgomery County. That phone number is 240-777-4417. It operates 365 years a day, 24 hours a day. Reports can be made anonymously and every call is answered by a licensed social worker. If you see or know of a child being abused, please step up, um, call the screening unit and let them know. If someone is unsure um, that they need to make a report, please call it and let a social worker take the information and they can decide if further services are needed. During the call, the screening social workers will provide information and referrals to community resources to help support children and families in Montgomery County. Between April 2020 and March 2021, over 9,000 calls were received and of those, 1,800 were accepted for services. We know that COVID in many ways has exacerbated um, all kinds of abuse within families um, for any number of reasons, but it's, um, it has made this harder, not easier. Um, child welfare service partners with other um, community agencies to help prevent and respond to child abuse in our community. And these working relationships help provide the most comprehensive and effective response to the children and the families in need. Child Welfare Services remains committed to preventing abuse, protecting victims, and assisting families to enable all children to lead happy, healthy, and productive lives. And Child Welfare Services wants to also recognize the community at large as active participants in this mission. Preventing child abuse and neglect is everyone's responsibility. Please follow up if you see something. Um, that the child you change and, and help um, will provide benefits to that child's children and to the people around them for years to come. So what you do in this moment is gonna have a long lasting impact on our community and the people in it. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. County Executive. And, and I, I also wanted to mention, and obviously we recognize April is Child Abuse Prevention Month and the important work of the Treehouse Child Advocacy Center. It's really my honor to partner with the County Executive uh, to pre present this proclamation to Alyssa Malter Schwartz, the Executive Director of the tree Treehouse Child Advocacy Center. We're also pleased to have with us Lisa Merkin, the Administrator of Child Welfare Services with the Department of Health and Human Services. Child abuse leaves psychological, emotional, and physical scars that impact victims throughout their lives. At the front line of the battle against child abuse in Montgomery County is the Treehouse Child Advo Advocacy Center. The Treehouse is dedicated to reducing trauma and promoting healing for child victims of physical abuse, sexual abuse, and neglect. Established in 2002 and incorporated in 2017, the Treehouse serves as a dedicated partner to the Montgomery County Department of Health and Human Services. The Treehouse provides free medical, forensic, and advocacy services, as well as mental health therapy in a safe, child-friendly environment. It is where hope steps into the lives of children who have been sexually and physically abused. The Treehouse also works to engage the whole community 
and the battle for child health and wellness. I'd like to recognize the upcoming Tour de Cookie as a valuable example of the Treehouse is uh, community engagement efforts. Uh, the Tour de Cookie is, uh, and I invite all my colleagues in the whole county to get involved in the Tour de Cookie. And many of you remember that each year prior to, to, the, to uh, the pandemic, when we were actually in the county office building, a person dressed as a cookie would appear and we would stand with them and get a picture taken. It's an annual event. The Tour de Cookie raises awareness about child abuse prevention and promotes the services offered by the Treehouse. In 2021, the event has been modified to be virtual and will take place May 1st through the 15th. In years past, riders chose among multiple routes to ride, stopping at cookie stands to collect treats along the way. This year, residents are encouraged to register and form teams to do a ride in their own neighborhood or along any trail they choose and submit photos that will be posted online after the two week a virtual event concludes. Um, might I add that I'm not a bike rider, my wife is, but I am a cookie eater and I know that the county executive at one point in his life was a cookie eater also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're on mute and I think it's a good thing for me right now, Mr. <laughs> county executive, but anyhow, we hope that everyone listening will contribute and participate in this event and make the Tour de Cookie a success uh, for the Treehouse and the whole county. And with that, Mr. County Executive, if we could read the proclamation, then I'm gonna ask uh, Lisa Merkin if she has a few words to say. And if you could please lead off the uh, proclamation. Whereas in Montgomery County, every child should be allowed to thrive, to have every chance at happiness and every chance at success but tragically, too many children suffer because of the abuse or neglect and... Whereas annually in Montgomery County, the Child Welfare Services screening line receives approximately 18,000 calls regarding allegations of possible abuse and neglect, and more than 2,600 potential cases are investigated and... Whereas the Treehouse Child Advocacy Center serves as a dedicated partner with the Montgomery County Police Department, Child Welfare Services, and the Office of the County Attorney and the Office of the State's Attorney to provide an array of skilled services to the county's children and families who are impacted by physical abuse, sexual abuse or neglect, including medical evaluations, mental health assessments and treatment, forensic interviewing, case management and victim advocacy in safe, child-focused, culturally competent settings, and? Whereas the Treehouse Chief Advocacy Center works to prevent child abuse and inform the community about how to protect children and how to assist children if abuse occurs, and? Whereas the Treehouse Child Advocacy Center believes that the cycle of child abuse can be broken and that, the ch and that child abuse and neglect is preventable. Now, therefore, do we, Mark L. Rich as County Executive and Sydney Katz as County Council Member, hereby proclaim April 2021 as National Child Abuse Prevention Month in Montgomery County. We encourage all residents to participate in this year's The Treehouse Tour to Cookie by taking a casual ride in their own neighborhood or on a favorite trail between May the 1st through the 15th, 2021, to raise awareness of child abuse prevention and promote the work of the Treehouse Child Advocacy Center, and it's signed today by County Executive Mark Elrich and me as a County Council yeah. member. And uh, I did want to um, note that uh, Julian Barnes, who's the Chief of Children, Youth, and Families, is also here with us today. And with that, if uh, Ms. Merkin would like to say a few words, please. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you to the County Executive and thank you to the entire County Council. It is really truly an, an honor and a privilege to have our work recognized. You know, we, um, I, I think, have a, a very, very challenging job day in and day out. And, and we really do appreciate and we value. It takes a village to raise children. It takes a village to prevent child abuse. It takes a village to help families get stronger, to break the cycle of violence and, and we really could not do this work without your support and without our very, very valued community partners who help 
families as much as they help us to help families. So, so thank you again to all of you. I um, very much appreciate it. The staff are very, very excited to have this proclamation, which I will be sharing with them later this afternoon. So, so thank you for all of your ongoing support in our work. Thank you, Ms. Merkin and Ms. Barnes and Dr. Kroll and everyone else and Ms. Schwartz, everyone else associated with doing the, the very necessary and, and really, in many cases, extremely sad work uh, to, uh, to combat this. But we thank you for all your, your efforts. They truly deserve to be recognized. So thank you very much, Mr. Uh, President. Thank you, Council Member. Thank you, County Executive. Thank you all for all your important work.